All right, and we're back. So, another crab I want to be showcasing. First of all, we go back to our menu. We get all our passive coin. All our other crabs have farmed while we are away. In our selection, let's crank up our mouse sensitivity here. Just the way I like it. Let's see. Been using this Razor Mamba mouse for the last seven years and it hasn't broke on me yet, but because my hand is very big, it is not comfortable for me to hold on to. Some of these new crabs are quite like Ghost Crab, Ghost Stealth. Can't wait to unlock this one, this is fun. Vampire Crab, newest one edition in the world of uh, King Crabs. Pop the ultimate, drains the life of all nearby enemies to heal itself. It's a pretty cool ability. Never before have we seen that. We hope one day they release the dungeon crap, but don't have that yet. So, moving on to the next crap. Next crap I want to showcase. Uh, this crap that's levels really low, but try and farm it. So, let's get it, give it a hat that will help it farm. Squid hat, extra EXP. Stats are overall pretty bad because we're just level 7. Um, so Candy Crab can throw candy to turn enemies into candy when they die. And candy yields extra farm. We can play that now. Uh, candy Crab at the moment, relatively weak. So we're not going to do too well in King Mode. We're going to go to Friendly Mode just to see the dynamics of it. I will showcase PvP once I've hit level 20. Level 7 is just going suicide, it's no point. But we got 11 life left. Okay, obviously we're not going to take on that straight away. This is the PvE map. Quite encouraged to try and get the uh, key. And try and get the ancient crab. Horseshoe crab on there. Oh shit. Died already, you can see. It's weak. Very weak. That's fine. We are going to just take the time to farm. And move. Right now we're just not competitive. Too small. Our level's too low. Good thing friendlies won't hit us. And we're gonna try and uh, farm the horseshoe crab. And the horseshoe crab has a ton of coin. It is a tank. One thing people don't know is this really attracts big aggro. Oh, it's dead. I just stole five coins out of him. He got the rest, that's fine. Let's move on. Alright, now we can take on a big crap. Cool. Showing off the next. So, this crap. The one thing about its uh, design and dynamics is whenever, whatever direction you're moving, your frontal facing, so your attacks are frontal facing. Which is an advantage in a lot of cases, because you're not side on like most other crabs are. Overall movement is relatively nimble, but we're just at a lower level. Obviously the animation is relative to your size, so we're going to level a bit and see how we get. There we go. Oh, got the... Now have the uh, sausage and nunchucks. We we'll take on turtle. Right, pop our ultimate, throw some coin on it. Automatically flinging the candy and whacking him to death with our uh, weapon. Oh, rocket launcher. Good. I'm gonna kill the shark. Just kill the shark. Right, now we take the rocket launcher. Help that guy up there. Our goal is to get 100 coin, at least. We're not gonna beat the turtle, unfortunately. We're gonna heal up. And try to fight the turtle again. Oh, that guy's big. Oh. 
There we go. Luckily we got some of that heat out of it. The other thing is the uh, durability of the candy crab is really bad. It takes damage very easily. Now I wanted to recommend the way of playing. I would use a mechanical keyboard, but for the purpose of recording I'm using my new Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop. So when I'm using that, I would have to use a keyboard, but last thing I find was this game keep holding onto the W key, you're going to kill the spring on the W key in your laptop if that's your setup. Not so much on the mechanical keyboard. And so, I use a combination of mouse and keyboard. I only use the WSAD key if I have to suddenly turn. If I'm going one direction, I just click where I need to go and just, see, turn as I go and then click that way. I press right, turn as I go. Those candy. Boom. Now we're going. This is a much better size. Look at us go. We're now much, much, much faster. Check that out. Obviously, farming coins is relatively slow in PvE. Throwing some candy there. The damage is very low because we're low level. Oh, hello, Miss Alien Crap. There we go. Oh, the prison box. Our goal is to try to find as many of these as we can because it is really the coin at the end of the day that determines our progress. So the dynamics of the game changed since the season one. A couple of months ago. Yes. The best thing about throwing the candy grenades is that it shrinks the enemy as you hit them, reducing their effectiveness. Alright, we're giving the 28 coin now. Checking the map. Try to get to as much boxes as we can to uh, get the coins. Present boxes are especially useful. Get rid of that snow crab there. Double click, give our charge attack. Some block off, that's fine. Alright, let's go, Lord. Cool. Let's get them. Oh, got some blue crabs there. Now our candy grenades are getting more effective. Cool, get that coin. Yes, 29. Just only hit the looking buddy buddy, that's fine. I don't want to fight the guy's weapon. I don't want to be throwing candy and getting rid of the turtle. There we go. Make some candy. Eat that candy. Now we're getting somewhere. Getting pretty big. The rocket launcher. Get the turtle. Boom! Go, Mr. Turtle. Boom. Just click him and you fire the rocket. And he's dead. Just like that. Oh, now we've got the chainsaw. Oh, dude, look at that carnage. Oh my god, chainsaw is really deadly. This is really... Yeah, brutal. This game is Crab of Duty. Crab of Duty right here. Having chainsaws and sewing crustaceans apart. Damn, man. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. I got a katana. I gotta get that horseshoe crap. Gotta get him. Gotta get that horseshoe crap. Oh, yes. I got the coin. Maybe at 50. Energy drink, replenish our gauge. <coughs> to try very hard to get to at least 50 coin, which is not too hard. There we go. Cool. Still alive. No boss spawned yet. Checking the map. It's good. 
All right. So I can put out got some farm there. Level up to level eight, level nine. Thanks to the hat. Ooh, we unlocked the next piece of gear. That's awesome, guys. Candy Craft's not much of a show at such low level, but we'll do PvP when we're at least level 15 to 20. We have ranked up, let's collect and see what we get. Pearls, yay. Ooh, upgrade points. More upgrade points. Double coin. Ooh. Hey. Excellent. Now let's check our season pass. Click that one. On our free season pass. Ooh, more upgrade. Select. Oui. Excellent. Want to do some upgrades for this crap too. Obviously, we need more tech. Well, more durability. Because this crap's durability sucks. Max out that one. Go back to crabs and see what else we got. Upgrade. Stone crab. Where was that? That's fine. What else we got? Giant mud crab. Need some more tech. Excellent. Go back to here. Ah. Mentor shrimp. Definitely a bit low on the uh, health. We upgrade that too. Alright, guys. Well, this will be all for this episode. And this will be all for this episode. And uh, next episode, we will look into some other crabs. We are going to do it in order. Right now, we have showcased off uh, the candy crab. And also the hermit crab. Next episode, we will show off the snow crab.